Welcome back to another video, right? Check this out. You're looking at the title, you already seen what it is, you know we're finna do a Southern style, right? We doing Southern Lima slash butter beans. And guess what, folks? This video is sponsored by Shopify. All right, so if you come in here and look, you see these right here? Look, these crack ones, they like a little bit of discolored or whatever, I get rid of those. Then I spread them out, make sure I don't find any rocks in here or nothing like that. Then all I do is take it, pour them in here, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the next batch, and then we are gonna add some water, and then I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. So I'm gonna keep it real simple. Now I did two pounds, right? Normally when I fill this up with water, right, I like to just leave them about an inch over the top. But I'm gonna go a little further, cause don't forget we got two pounds in here now. All I'm gonna do now is just take some saran wrap, put it over the top, set this over like in the corner somewhere and let this, you know, go overnight. You know what I mean? I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. There is another way. Like if you want to do them last minute, you can do what we call a hot flash, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, look, it's day two as promised, right? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these beans right here. Look at that right here. I had to add some more water in there because I didn't even have enough, right? Just to make it overnight. So like if you look, some of these are cracked. You see this little piece right here? If you can get it off, great. So I'm gonna go through these and just take some of the ones that I can see off the top, but don't worry. When you put this inside there and you boil it, it starts absorbing everything. This kind of like dissolves, and this is gonna help us with that thickness too. Now, I told you guys, listen, if you do not remember to soak your beans, because a lot of times cooking is like last minute, right? So if you didn't soak your beans, you can do what you call a hot flash. Hot flash is very, very simple and easy, right? Get you a pot, fill it up with water, right? What you wanna do is you wanna boil, you get your water to boil it. Once it becomes, you know, once it starts to boil, turn it off. Get your beans, dump them in your hot water, put a lid on the top and let them sit for about an hour or an hour and 10 minutes, anywhere in between there, right? And then after that, your beans are done. The first thing we're gonna do is, I'm getting ready to, okay, obviously I got ham hocks, right? I'm gonna use these. And if you look at them, man, look, this right here, this, this skin right here is kind of tough. You know what I mean? But what we want to do is we want to boil it down. I can promise you it's so much flavor in here. For those of you guys that don't do the pork, what you can do is, listen to this, you can use a smoked turkey. And right now I'm having a hard time finding it, but they promised me they're going to have it, you know, soon. So I'm going to add these two inside of here, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and go with my chicken stock. What I want to do is just cover this, right? Now, if you don't have enough chicken stock on hand, I'm going to show you this one thing right here better than bouillon. This right here gets you that flavor. Y'all see that? You know what I mean? We can just add a little water to it. Actually, you can just add it in a, uh, a bowl and mix it up to your likeness, you know, as far as your taste go. Now, I want you guys to come in here and take a look at this right here. Let me move this so you guys can see it. Look, I covered about halfway. If you want to cover it over the top, you can do that too. But I leave it like that. I want it to come to a boil, you know, really quick. So I'm gonna put my top on, I'm gonna turn it on high, and I'm gonna keep it, you know, boiling, right? Because what I wanna do is soften it up, right? We gotta give it some time to, you know, soften up. Now the purpose of me boiling this is like, again, that's to get it soft, right? So I'm gonna say I like to let it boil for about 30 minutes under that heat, you know what I mean? And then just let it soften up. That way we'll have some, you know, meat to go along with our beans, right? So I'm gonna say 30 minutes. If you can go an hour, that's good too, but I always like to give them my, any of my protein, whether it's smoked turkey, ham hock, or whatever protein we're using, I like to give it a head start. So I'll see you guys in about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, folks, so listen, it's been 45 minutes. That's how long I went to let it, uh, you know, the boil, right? So I'll open this up, let you guys see. Here's a little pro tip. I've been burned several times like that. Now it's burned in my brain to break. Anytime I open something up, when it's steaming like that, I break away from myself. So I break it that way. You see that right there? That right there will get out you. Get out there and bite you. Now, if you look right there, look at that. Now, because I went 45 minutes, some of it kind of like evaporates because you can see the steam coming out the side anyway. So I just added a little bit more water to it and I used that better than bouillon just to make up for the flavor. Now, just a little uh, pro tip for you. Any time that you uh, have any water or, you know, liquid evaporation, the flavor and everything stays in the inside and just you lose the, the, water, the water version of it. Now, let's talk about this right here. I'm getting ready to go ahead and just make some, instead of making all them videos, showing you guys different ways to do it. I've made lima beans before that just, you know, the regular way. This right here was a lot of flavor without the onion and the green pepper, right? The green bell pepper. That right there, you know that's gonna be, that was fire, cause that's what we grew up on, right? Some of us had uh, our grandparents do something a little different. You know what I mean? As far as what I'm doing right here, and what you see I'm doing, is I'm gonna add some bell pepper and some onion, and then I'm gonna reach behind me and get some of that garlic. 
And what we want to do is, because we talk, we want to do everything for the flavor, right? So we're going to dice it very, very small. I've already started doing my onions. I got them diced. After I thought about it, I was like, no, I want them even smaller. So to be honest with you, if you want to grate them, that works great too. Okay, folks, so look. Come in here and take a look at the dice. You see how small I've done this? Again, I could have took this and just grated my onion, right? So after I made it and I diced it my size, then I thought about it, so then I made it a little smaller. Got my green, you know, my bell peppers right there. Break this away from myself. All right, we'll just leave it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off for now, right? Now, let's talk about these beans right here. Now listen, there's a whole lot of flavor in the pot, right? So what we wanna do is get the ham hock and all of the flavor, whether you're using a ham hock, you know, they, whether you're using pork or you're using uh, turkey, a smoked turkey piece or whatever like that, that's the flavor we gonna put in here and we gonna make it thick, folks. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour all this water out and then I'm gonna start looking at anything that I can take out of this, I will. Like some of that outer casing that's on the bean, if it's loose enough for me to take it out, I'll do it. All right, so, you know, I went ahead and drained the water off of them, right? Now, this is what I wanna show you. Like when I find stuff like, uh, like this right here. See how the bean just wanted to come out? If I find it that way and it's just easy for me to remove it, I just take it off. You know, take it out, right? So I'm just gonna move this around. This will help loosen up anything that's already half loosened, like this. You know what I mean? Now, you don't have to do this, I promise you, because all this boils down inside of that, helps with the thickening, and just adds a little flavor. But I like to just get it off if I can, you know? Now, we're gonna take a look at these, these hocks. I can see they nice, they are getting soft, look getting ready to really come out. I could just push this down and separate it, right? But we're gonna let it just keep working because the bone got that marrow in it. And don't forget, that's flavor too. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and let that go. Now I'm gonna just start adding my beans in here, right? All right, so you see, this is what we come up with, right? Now I'm gonna take my board and I'm just gonna take and put all of my veggie in that I had cut. I'll add in my my garlic. You know, I'll mince some garlic and put that in there too in just a minute. But right now we wanna get this in here. All right, so look, now we're getting ready to mince this garlic, right? Hey, somebody come here and take a look at this and tell me, is this a big garlic clove or what? So let's just stick that in the inside like that. Put this top down on it and then watch. Man, this is so gratifying to me. All I can think about is my grandmama had me mincing garlic, you know what I mean, for a long time. Look at that right there. Mm. So easy. And you know what, giving you guys a heads up, I'll show you in just one second. This right here will be the garlic press of my choice moving forward. You guys can see, this was the prototype. You see right there where it says S and G. You know, stands for smoking and grilling. These are on their way. I just approved the, you know, the box and all the artwork. So these are coming. Now you guys can take a look. You see this minced garlic going in, you know what I mean? Uh, bell pepper, onion. And now you kind of like get it, just the way you see it on the top, you understand why I did it on the small side, right? It's really about the flavor. So after being in here for about four hours, you know what I mean? It's going. I can just tell you this, it's gonna render down. Some of it's gonna disappear, become translucent. You know what I mean? If I don't see no green uh, bell pepper, I'd be happy, you know what I mean? Cause I know it's all in this pot right here, right? So I, what I'm doing is just mixing it around, making sure all of the liquid, you know, gets, you know, gets done. Now towards the end of this, I'm gonna make some uh, cornbread. I'm gonna, start the con I'm gonna start the conversation right now. Which type of cornbread do you guys eat with lima beans? Talk to me. Do you do a sweet cornbread or do you do a more traditional Southern, you know, just non-sweet? Y'all let me know. So now would be a perfect time for me to talk about Shopify. So let me just tell you what Shopify is. Listen, it's a commerce platform. So listen, if you're getting into business, uh, you wanna like sell something, you're trying to get your hustle on, this puts you in the game with the big dogs. Super easy to use, very, very simple. Now let me give you a real time example. Most of you guys that went out and bought my cookbook, Best of Both Worlds, that I co-authored with, Mr. Make It Happen, right? Listen, if you had any interaction with that, or anything that you bought off of my website, listen, you've already dealt with Shopify. Listen, it's so simple to use. I can just tell you, listen, it's so simple, even I can use it, right? So listen, when I see everything on the back end, it helps me with my shipping, lets me know this, where it's going, gives out the tracking, it keeps up with everything. So I can't see myself never not having Shopify in anything that I do. And let me give you another real time, uh, real time example. Listen, when I run into you guys out in the street and we do a tap in, you know, we tap with the cars and all of that, you've already dealt with Shopify, super easy.
Now Shopify offers an easy to use all in one commerce platform so that anybody can start and grow and manage a business. Super easy like myself. Shopify lets you sell online, in person, and across all major social platforms. Shopify supports businesses along the entire journey from the first sale to full scale. They give entrepreneurs like myself the resources reserved for big businesses, and this is how I look like I'm larger than life. So right now, listen, they're offering a free trial, right? So here it is, right here underneath me, and if you look right there, there's a QR code. You guys got to try it. Listen, they get you in the game, start you off for free. I promise you, in a couple of days, you're going to love it, and you'll be on your way to making some bread. Hey, with that being said, let's continue with the video. Okay, folks, listen, the whole complete time is done. Now, you guys want to check your beans, right? If you do it on super, super low, right, which I I did. I actually transferred this from using my burner on the, you know, the countertop. I put it on my stove. Now I can make my stove like super, super low, right? Reason being, we don't want to burn any of the beans, right? And then you want to stir your beans about every 30, 40, anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes. Everybody's uh, stove don't go down that low, right? So if it don't, I would say I probably would check these every 30 minutes, right? Then you want to check. Now, before I reveal that, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. There with that cornbread, folks. Now, if you guys want to know how to make this cornbread, I just made it. This will get you in the game. Listen, you can look right up there. There's a button up there. Click on that. That'll show you how I made that. Now, I asked you guys earlier, and I'm going to ask you one more time. Tell me, you like sweet or just a traditional style of southern cornbread? You know to go with your beans. Now, you guys ready for something? Take a look at this. One, two, three, boom. Look at that right there. Look at the thickness. I didn't even have to take no beans out. My mouth is watering just, hey, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I done tasted this all kind of stages. And this right here is fire. Notice I didn't put none of that salt in there. Look, them ham hocks work. Now, remember we put ham hock in here, right? So I got these two forks for a reason. If you come in here and take a look right here, look, you remember that hard, well, I'm just gonna say it's like a tough skin, right? So if I take that and I just take the fork, and I know I'm getting a little bit of this fat too, but what it does is, you see that right there? Now I can get rid of that cap, which is nothing but skin. Right, so you wanna do that and you wanna leave the meat. You know what I mean? So, oh my goodness. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice, but man, it make me, you know, talk soft, voice get a little bit deeper. You know what I mean? For those of you guys who know who Barry White is, that's who I'll become. Okay, look, so here it is right there. Look at that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one thing right here for y'all, just to show you. Look how thick it is. You see that right there? Them beans is nice and soft. You see this cornbread? It's so moist, it almost tore. It's got that honey top. And I'm gonna put it like that. Let me take some pictures of this and make this a star, and then we finna do this outro. So now I'm just gonna say thank you for Shopify for sponsoring this video. And guess what, folks? You've been with me for a minute, you know what I like to do. So check it out. Like, subscribe, and guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace. Hey, so check this out. This is the reward for everybody that stayed at the end. You want to know is this fire right here? Let me just go ahead and get some of, uh, ooh, look at this ham hock. That's a nice big chunk. And, well, let me just put it right here because I'm going to do it like this. Let's get some of that cornbread, some of them pinto beans. You see that right there? Cheers, y'all.